Hello and welcome to another reading from the book Our High Calling, a Daily Devotional. Today's reading is entitled As a Wall of Fire Against Temptation, July 23rd. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know the saith the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I pray. Proved him o'er and o'er, Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. Satan is continually seeking to influence human minds by his subtle arts. His is a master mind given of God, but prostituted with all its noble capabilities to oppose and to make of no effect the counsels of the Most High. We can overcome only by believing in every word that proceedeth from the mouth of God. We must know what is written in order that we may not be defeated by the sophistry and enchantments of Satan. If we have been ensnared by his enchanting power, let us, in the name of Jesus, rebuke his power and break with Satan without delay. Those who cry unto God for deliverance from the terrible spell that Satan would weave about them will set a high estimate upon the scriptures. Our only safety is in receiving the whole Bible, not taking merely detached portions, but by believing the whole truth. Your feet are upon sliding sand if you depreciate one word that is written. The Bible is a divine communication and is as verily a message to the soul as though a voice from heaven were heard speaking to us. With what awe and reverence and humiliation should we come to the searching of the scriptures that we may learn of eternal realities? Let every one study the Bible, knowing that the word of God is enduring as the eternal throne. If you come to the study of the scriptures in humility, with earnest prayer for guidance, angels of God will open to you its living realities, and you will cherish the precepts of truth that will be to you as a wall of fire against the temptations, delusions, and enchantments of Satan. The word of God is able to save your souls, to make you wise unto salvation. The psalmist says, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. Then let us hide the word of God in our hearts, that we may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Ephesians 6.13 Oh, how sweet to trust in Jesus, just to trust his cleansing blood, just in simple faith to plunge me neath the healing cleansing flood. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I've proved him o'er and o'er. Jesus, Jesus.
Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book, Our High Calling. God bless you.